Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for taking the time to connect. Thank you so much for praying for me. I feel the impact of your prayers and I'm so thankful. I appreciate your support and words of encouragement as well. Thank you so much. May God bless you in Jesus' name. For those who are joining us for the first time, I want to extend a special welcome. Welcome to the family of God and to our beautiful community where God is doing amazing, amazing things. Your presence here is not by accident. God has led you here and I'm confident that God has something special in store for you today. Please feel free to engage in the comment section and share your thoughts and prayer requests. We are a community that supports and prays for each another. May the Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. The Lord has a word for someone today. I'm so excited about today. For the Lord is about to turn around your situation and bring forth a breakthrough that you have been waiting for. Before we jump into this word, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you. Lord, we say thank you because today is the day that you have made. We are glad and we are rejoicing in it. Father, we come before you today with grateful hearts, a heart full of praise, Lord, thanking you for your word, for your love, your mercy, your grace, your provision, your abundance. Lord, we acknowledge your works in our lives and we are saying thank you for what you have done, what you are doing right now in our lives and in our midst, what you are about to do and what you will accomplish in your kingdom through us. Lord, we say thank you. Father, we ask for forgiveness for any sins we have committed knowingly or unknowingly in words, in thought, in our actions. Please forgive us, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus and make us worthy to partake in what you have prepared for us today. Father, we humble ourselves before you and we seek your face for we know that without you, we can do nothing. So we dedicate this time to you, Lord. Open our hearts. Lord, open our minds to receive your word. Let your word transform us and let it draw us closer to you. And Father, I release myself to you today. Please use me as a vessel. Speak through me today in Jesus' precious and mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. The instructions I received for today is that we partake in Holy Communion and remain in a posture of worship. I saw a vision of many people bowing down in worship, which suggested to me that many of you have been actively engaging in worship. The Lord wants us to remain in that posture, which means continually offering our hearts and minds to him humbling ourselves before his presence and acknowledging his power, his sovereignty in every aspect of our lives. This sustained posture of worship is not just about our physical stance, but also about maintaining a heart that is constantly attuned to God's will and responsive to his leading all the time. When we remain in this state, we are more open to experiencing his grace, to experiencing his guidance and transformative power in our lives. Praise God. For those who might not know what Holy Communion means and its significance, it is a sacred act that commemorates the Last Supper Jesus shared with his disciples. During this meal, Jesus broke bread and shared wine, and also instructed his followers to do this in remembrance of him. We are Jesus' followers. Today we serve Jesus, so this commandment is for us as well. Holy Communion symbolizes our unity with Christ and with each other as believers. 
Its significance in our lives today is so profound as it serves as a reminder of Jesus' sacrifice for our sins, his promise of eternal life, and our continual need for his grace and forgiveness. It is also a purification process which is essential for us today for, for our spiritual growth and intimacy with God. It also allows us to shed the weight of guilt and shame and to receive God's forgiveness and grace, which in turn empowers us to move forward in freedom and victory. Holy Communion also provokes breakthroughs, divine healing, and renewed strength because it is a time when we draw closer to God and align ourselves with His will. As we partake in the element, we acknowledge the power of Jesus' sacrifice and invite His presence into our lives in a tangible way. It is an act of faith, and this act of faith can break chains of bondage it opened doors that seemed permanently shut and ushers in God's miraculous intervention in our lives, in our situations and circumstances. We are taught how to partake in Holy Communion in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 29. The Bible says that we must not eat it in an unworthy manner. For whoever eats and drinks without discerning the body of Christ, eats and drinks judgment on themselves. And what does this mean? It means we should examine our hearts, repent of our sins, and approach the Lord's table with reverence and humility. It is a time for reflection, repentance, and renewal of our commitment to follow Christ. Instead of rushing through it, we should take the time to truly meditate on its meaning and allow the Holy Spirit to work within us and draw us closer to God. If you have the communion element at home, that is great. If you don't have them and you can't get them, don't worry. Use what you have at home. You can use whatever you have at home. The most important thing is the heart behind the action. Whether you use bread and juice or substitute with what you have on hand, it is your faith and reverence that matter most. God honors our sincere effort to obey him and to remember his son's sacrifice. Praise God. There is something powerful about being obedient to instructions, especially God's instructions such as this one, even when we don't fully understand them. Obedience to instructions, especially God's instructions, unlocks blessings and aligns us with God's will and enables us to experience His favor and provision in ways we might not anticipate. Obedience demonstrates our trust in God and our willingness to submit to his authority. And it paves the way for deeper spiritual growth and intimacy with him. Praise God. I'll read a few verses of scripture from, from Deuteronomy 28, which speaks about the reward for obedience. I encourage you today to take some time today to read and meditate on the entire chapter. I'm starting from verse 1. It says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commands that I'm giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the world. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. Verse 3 says, Your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be blessed. Your fruits baskets and bread bowls will be blessed. Wherever you go and wherever you do and whatever you do, you will be blessed. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They will attack you 
from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. What a word. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he's given you. If you obey the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he swore he would do. Then all the nations of the world will see that you are a people claimed by the Lord and they will stand in awe of you. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land. The Lord will give you prosperity in the land you swore to your ancestors to give you, blessing you with many children, numerous livestock, and abundant crops. The Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I'm giving you today, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you will always be on top and never at the bottom. Never at the bottom. Praise God. Obedience to God's commandment is key to unlocking his blessings in our lives. It opens the door to God's best for you. And when we choose to follow his guidance and live according to his principles, we position ourselves to receive his favor and protection. God's promises are sure and they are true. And the Lord delights in rewarding those who diligently seek him and strive to obey him. So as you obey God today and always, may the heavens over you be and remain open. May you experience his abundant blessings, his guidance and presence in every area of your life. In Jesus' name. This is the word of the Lord for you today. I pray it blesses you. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you so much, Lord. We are grateful, Lord, for the reminder of the significance of Holy Communion and the power of worship in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, as we obey your word and partake in Holy Communion and remain in the posture of worship of you, I pray, Father, for a deeper revelation of your love and grace Help us to continually remain in a posture of worship. Father, help us. We can do this alone. Help us. Lord, help us to remain in this posture, offering our hearts and minds to you daily. Let our lives be a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you alone. Father, I lift up every person watching this video right now. You know their needs. You know their struggles and their heart's desires. Lord, I pray for your divine intervention in their lives. Lord, let your power and glory be evident in their situation. Father, today heal the sick. Provide for the needy and bring comforts to the brokenhearted. I pray, Lord, for breakthroughs, divine healing, and renewed strength, O oh God, for everyone who has joined us today in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your presence bring transformation and miracles into our lives in the name of Jesus. As we walk in obedience to your instructions, Father, may we experience your favor. May we experience provision and protection in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the promises in your word. And as we read and meditate on your word, help us, Father, to live in obedience to your commands. May the blessings of obedience manifest in our lives. And may we walk in your divine favor and abundance every day of our lives. Lord, I declare that your will be done in our lives and we surrender everything to you. Lord, we believe your word. We receive your word. We believe and we trust in you. We know 
that today that we will witness your power. We will witness your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I know and I declare that today chains will break. People will be delivered. People will receive abundance blessings. Your word will come to manifestation in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for what you've done already. Thank you for what you're doing right now and what you have in store for us. We receive all that you have for us today and every day of our lives. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.